dietetic intern. Hey everyone, welcome back. This week was my last week at the Rehabilitation Center, so I finished my first clinical rotation. So last Sunday we took Bandit to his first training class. So he's finally gonna learn how to behave around other dogs. He has a little bit of anxiety. So the trainer was really great and we're actually gonna start private sessions before doing sessions with other cute puppies first. And I actually am learning a lot about dog behavior. I'd really recommend it. So on Friday, I sat down with my preceptor and we went over my self-evaluation, her evaluation of my performance and talked about some things to improve for my next clinical rotation and things that I did well on. I'm really sad to be leaving. It was such an amazing first clinical rotation. I feel really lucky and I really hope to stay in touch with my preceptors. So this week I also met with my quality improvement advisor and we talked about what I should get started for the project. It's actually a funny story. So Wanda Firth, she is the director of the Hearts in Motion program, which I'm going to be doing my project for. She was actually my professor back at Acadia for introduction to research. And this was maybe, what, three years ago now, at least. And I remember the first time I didn't get the internship, I was so sad. And I went and talked to her and she made me feel so much better. And we bonded on half marathons. So she was one of my favorite professors and I was so sad to see her go and little did I know that in the future I'd be her intern. So it's so nice and uh, it was so good to see her again. She got me pumpkin spice latte. So I'm sure you guys have noticed that the construction on the bridge has really caused some major delays. One of my preceptors was three hours late because she was stuck on the bridge. Ugh. So I'm not looking forward to going to Dartmouth General in the winter, definitely not. So normally the case study is due at the end of your first clinical rotation, but because real life doesn't revolve around assignments, um, and because we're having difficulties finding a way to feed this individual, um, we're just going to keep an eye on them and see how they do later. I've definitely been getting tired much earlier in the day. I used to go to bed around 12, 1, and now definitely 11, 11, 30, sometimes 10, I'm out. Got my flu shot this week. And last but not least, on Friday morning I went to stroke congress with my preceptor. So there was a few presenters talking about new developments in stroke rehabilitation and new connections that they're learning that exist in the brain called the human connectome. So that's really cool. You can check it out at thehumanconnectome.org. It was so fascinating learning about all the connections in your brain and just all the different pathways that exist and how in the future there could be possible electronic stimulation of these areas to help somebody rehabilitate after a stroke. Fascinating. My learning for the Some people think of dietitians as the food police and I really want to emphasize that this is definitely not true especially when you go into the dietetic world. The dietitians that I ate lunch with and have spent time with love food and they love to eat. We had a little treat day gathering that they have every month and you wouldn't believe that this table was the dietitian's table because there was a, I made a Rice Krispie square cake, there was brownies, there was cookies, there was other things that I don't even know what they were called. I just know that they were delicious. And dietitians have no shame in indulging in desserts in moderation. It's just really the key. Everything. I also learned by spending all the time with patients that are really unwell or have gone through a traumatic accident that I definitely know you've heard this before, but really enjoy life while you can. You never know if you're something's gonna happen to you one day and you're not gonna be able to eat the same foods that you can today or go for a walk or even be able to move your arms. Seize the day whenever you can. I learned that professional attire doesn't necessarily mean 
going to work in blazers and suits every day which is what I thought it meant at first but you realize that as long as you're not wearing you know sweat clothes sport clothes you're wearing a nice shirt you're wearing a nice cardigan as long as you look professional it's just it doesn't have to be as formal as I thought it was is what I'm trying to say just look classy or clean so next week is class week so there's gonna be speakers presenting to us every day talking to us about everything from diabetes to nutrition for cystic fibrosis uh, TPN all sorts of things so as the office manager I was in charge of getting the speakers thank you cards so that's what I spent the past day doing and the week after I start my food service rotation so we'll see how that goes I'm definitely gonna miss clinical because I really feel like that's where my heart truly is at but it's also gonna be really neat to see how the hospital works and functions with delivering food to so many different locations to Dartmouth General, Nova Scotia Hospital and how they how they manage to feed everybody healthy foods it's really, it's going to be neat. <sighs> so I can't wait to tell you everything I learned in class week next week. Well, not everything, just the key messages. Um, but stay tuned and I'll talk to you on Halloween. Bye. Thanks for watching. And remember, sustain your body, sustain your life.